Hi guys! So in this video, we're going to be comparing $10 markers with $100 markers. I'll show you a way how you can make your own comedian pens using normal felt tip markers and then we'll see how the results match up. In case you're not familiar with them yet, chameleon pens are self-shading markers. Each pen comes with two tips and a mixing chamber filled with blank ink. First, you detach the marker tip that you want and then connect it to the mixing chamber like this. Leave it for about 5 seconds and be sure to hold the pen vertically otherwise it won't work. Then remove the nib and you can now create a beautiful gradient effect. There's no doubt that chameleon pens are amazing to use, however the only catch is that they're pretty expensive. These are professional quality artist pens and that is reflected on the price tag. But I realized you can make a budget version using any felt tip marker and a cucumber. Simply cut off a few slices of cucumber or use leftover kitchen scraps. Then press the tip of your marker into the cucumber for several seconds. Just like the real pen, it helps to hold this vertically so the ink flows away from the tip. You should notice a paler area when you remove the cucumber. This creates a cool gradient effect, just like real chameleon pens. So now I'm going to try both methods using these chameleon color cards. I'm very curious to see how these two methods compare against each other. I'm going to start with the chameleon pens. As mentioned before, these are beautifully designed and really easy to use. The ink inside is alcohol-based, which means it blends a lot more smoothly and doesn't dry up as quickly as water-based ink. Once the nib is inside the mixing chamber, you can control the gradient by counting seconds. The longer you keep it inside, the bigger the gradient will be. For small areas, I left the nib inside for about 2 seconds, and for larger areas, I left it for about 5 to 10 seconds. By the way, this video is not sponsored, and I bought these pens myself to give you an unbiased review. I loved working with them, but I'm slightly confused by their marketing since it's a good tool for professional artists, but a lot of chameleon products are aimed at complete beginners. For instance, one of the great advantages of alcohol ink is that several colors can be layered on top of each other at the same time. However, this isn't mentioned anywhere in the instructions, and if you only color using one pen like this, then the results come out looking very simple and slightly childish. And speaking of childish, let's see if we can get the same results using these really cheap kids' felt tip markers. I realize it's harder to control the gradients by counting seconds using a cucumber, which is kind of to be expected. So instead of counting seconds, you can simply push the nib to different depths. The deeper it goes, the more water there is to dilute the ink. You can see the tip turning white, so the more white area there is, the bigger your gradient. I was pleasantly surprised at how well this method actually works using cheap markers. However, a problem that came up right away is that it's much harder to create smooth transitions because the tip of the pen seems to dissolve the paper. I kept getting these stringy bits which were really annoying, and I'm not sure if that's because the ink is water-based rather than alcohol-based, or whether it's just the cheap material on the pen nib that's ripping up the paper. This means that you can only add one layer of color and you can't really go back to correct any mistakes. It's not a huge problem with simple illustrations like the one I'm using here, but you'll find it much trickier to color complex images such as faces or clothing. So I tried my best to create the same colors on both images, and here is how the final version looks. On first glance, I'd say the one using cheap markers actually stands out more because the colors look a lot brighter. However, on close inspection, the shading isn't smooth and the paper surface is full of scratches. The chameleon pen version has softer colors, but it was much easier to blend these and they turned out looking great. However, considering that these cost 10 times more than the other ones, I think I'd go with the DIY version first. You can find cheap felt tip markers from any stationery or discount shop, and any brand will work for this. You can even pack a few cucumber slices with you and try this in your next art class. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to subscribe to Cute Life Hacks and my other channel, Macaroon, for more unusual DIYs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!